statement our vision statement and what we are all about as a church and as a ministry our vision statement is imparting the world with fire somebody shot fire there is fire in this household if you believe that can you rejoice imparting the world with fire through the teaching of the word of his grace and the demonstrations of the tangible power of the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord forevermore. Our mission statement is lifting people to newer levels of victories and promotions effortlessly. Somebody say effortlessly. Our goals as a ministry, number one, is so winning. We reach out to the unreached and we reach out to the rich. Number two is discipleship, raising up ministers to impart their word with fire. Number three is church planting, making streams of great churches a common place. Hallelujah! Our core values as a ministry, number one, is the release of the supernatural. Number two is love. Number three is excellence. And number four is honoring the anointed. Say with me, I honor the anointed. Hallelujah! And this brings us to the various arms of streams of great churches. Uh, the various arms of streams of grace global ministry. Number one is the church ministry. Number two is the campus ministry. Number three is the media ministry. And number four is the outreach ministry. And more arms will be better to the glory of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord forevermore. The purposes of streams of great churches or campus fellowship, why do we exist? Number one is worship. In worship, we express love towards God and we celebrate his presence. That's just as we are celebrating the presence of God. Praise the Lord forevermore. Number two is ministry. We communicate God's word and we express love towards one another through ministry. Number three is evangelism. We reach out to the city in order to incorporate God's family membership. Praise the Lord forevermore. Praise the Lord forevermore. Number four is fellowship. We demonstrate God's power through love while building a family. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord forevermore. Amen. Number five is discipleship. We educate God's people and we mature the same for their ministry in the church and their life's mission in the world in order to magnify God's name. Praise the Lord forevermore. Say, I am fulfilling my ministry. Can you shout it louder because you know and you believe it? I am fulfilling my ministry. Our priorities as a ministry, number one is God's purpose, the assignment that God has given to us. Number two is the people. Number three is our programs. And number four is our properties. And our motto as a ministry is raising territorial commanders and global champions. So when I say streams of grace, your, your response is raising territorial commanders and global champions. Can we do that this morning? Can we do that this morning, church? Streams of grace! Raising territorial commanders and global champion. Can you give the Lord a shout of praise? Media, please, let's have the report. Isaiah 44, verse 26. The Bible says that God confirms the word of his servant and performs the counsel of his messengers. On the 17th of March, 2024, during one of our powerful Sunday services, Pastor gave a word of prophecy, a word that will change someone's life for better. Ah, 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 I would lift up your hands and drink it. Ah, 
As there is somebody you are believing God for something to go through. The, what you are believing God for is in the tens of millions. I pray for you that it's released. It is released. I, I'm seeing that this particular model, I see in the spirit, is in the tens of millions. The God that is have releases it to you. In the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 <laughs> it is done. Amen. It is done. Amen. That is an, a prophetic model for one. And I'm seeing on a general basis light that brings your answers into your hands. Amen. You believe that? Can you say I received three times? I received. I received. I received. Now, can you just lift up your hands and just be quiet? Close your eyes and just be quiet. Within 24 hours, God confirmed the words of his servant, shares the testimony that was shared. Good morning, Pastor Sir. Last week, we had two business deals that were hanging. The first one was already running at a loss. But after we sowed the seed, the matter was resolved in less than 24 hours. Our profit was preserved. In addition, the second deal that was hanging has been released and paid in full. We received the first payment in less than 24 hours after sowing the seed. But I was still worried because what we received was not the complete money. On Sunday, when you mentioned that someone was closing the deal worth tens of millions and it's being released, I fell under the power. And the next day, we received the next payment. Sent words are working miracles in our lives. At the beginning of this year, my spouse and I decided we were going to sow seven figures to honor our prophet and unlock our next level. We thought it was going to take us time, but it came faster than we imagined. Now we have set a bigger target. Thank you, sir, for being our prophet. Somebody shout glory! Praise God forevermore. Indeed, sent words are working miracles in our lives. Praise God. Praise God. One of the secrets, the secrets of Job is this. He said the reason I became the richest man in the East was that the secret of the Lord was made available to me. Light came. Our advancement in the kingdom is light. We go up by lights. Ah, light that enters your spirit is important. Look at, for example, look at Jacob. Jacob had the Isaiah 44, verse 26. The Bible says that God confirms the word of his servant and performs the counsel of his messengers. On the 17th of
and valleys. Lord, you never change, you never change. And I believe that I will see the goodness of the Lord.
is running after me. I am. Your goodness is running after me. Is running after me. Your goodness is running after. It's running after me. Your goodness is running. It's running after. Oh, your goodness is running after. It keeps chasing after me. It's running after. Your little praise and giving thanks. I appreciate it. We give a praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Adonai.
For the supplies of your spirit that makes all the difference in our lives. Thank you for the impartations of the spirit. Thank you for supply of grace. Thank you for supply of grace. Thank you, Holy Spirit. From our hearts, we give a praise. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you celebrate overseas? Thank you so much. Please welcome someone to the left, to the right. You can just uh, play softly. Thank you. The same song. Channels of wisdom. Number 10. And this concludes the series. Number 10 is impartation. Impartations. The channel of impartation. An impartation is the transfer of virtue from one person to another. Impartation comes by laying of hands, direct content. Impartation also comes by spoken words. That means I can gain wisdom on how things are done by impartations of the spirit. Hallelujah. You can see that in Deuteronomy 34 verse 9. And Joshua the son of Nun was full of the spirit of wisdom for Moses had laid his hands on him. Supplies of the spirit of wisdom by the laying of hands in partition. 
Ezekiel chapter 2, when you read verse 1 and 2. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak to thee. And the spirit entered inside of me. They entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet that I heard him. The spirit, impartation by spoken words, impartation by the laying of hands. In John 6, verse 63, it is the spirit that quickened it. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and life. Beloved, one of the ways, channels of wisdom is impartation. Impartation. Either one of the ways impartation comes by contact, another way by spoken words, people hear the words as you keep listening. Impartation comes on you. The same anointing comes on you. The same spirit of faith jumps on you. The same, the very same thing begins to walk in your life. Impartations. Impartations. And the end of God is resting on you in this service in the name of Jesus. And causing a high manifestation of wisdom in your life. In the name of Jesus. Impartations. Beloved, when you submit under higher grace, you contact grace. When you see the flow of a stream that is flowing on a higher dimension and you submit to it, the same graces begins to flow in your life. That's what happens. You submit to it. It is through submission you, that you, the, you allow the virtue to actually flow from up to down. Through submission. You contact it. Impartation. It makes a great difference. Wisdom can be taught by instructions. And wisdom can be caught by impartation. You can learn wisdom by instructions. Then wisdom can be caught. It can be taught by instructions. It can be caught by impartation. Wisdom. Somebody's out here. Thank you, Jesus. And don't forget, wisdom is not just natural or mental. Wisdom is also spiritual. It's also spiritual. Beloved, there is a spirit of wisdom that is transferable. There is an oppression, not just in the legal state, in vital reality manifestation. In the legal state, you have the Holy Ghost, you have wisdom, but yet you see some people not see the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom vitally in their lives but by encounters of the God kind they enter into it even this wisdom have the department there is a spirit of wisdom that is transferable hallelujah somebody say I hear but I can tell you one can struggle with instructions but one will always succeed by impartation <laughs> Impartation. They said, see what happened to Elisha. When he came back, they said the spirit of Elijah tossed raised upon Elisha. How did he get it? By following. And what happened? It jumped on him. Impartations. Impartation. If you understand that impartation is one of the major secrets that will change your life, you will go for it. I taught you nine other things. Impartation is a crowning part of it. Impartation. The impartation of wisdom was a secret of Joshua. It was also the secret of the apostles. <laughs> Look what the Bible says concerning the apostles. At 4 verse 13. So when they saw their boldness, so they knew that these ones had been with Jesus. And when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. That means as they stayed with Jesus, something rubbed on them. Something came on them. May great grace rest upon you. 
in the name of Jesus. May the hand of God that causes you to ascend upon your high places be strong on you. In the name of Jesus. Impartation. Impartation was also the secret of Timothy. You see that in 2 Timothy 1 verse 6 to 7. In that scripture the Bible says, Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that you stir up the gift of God which is given thee by the putting off of my hands. Stir up the gift that came upon you when I laid hands on you. Beloved, every time you have opportunity for hands to be laid on you, don't take it lightly. Understand that something has landed on you. Somebody say, oh, yeah. Know it. I know this. That something has jumped on you. Learn to treat spiritual things as assets. Ah. Ah. Learn to treat spiritual things as asset, as tangible things that God gave you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Learn it. Learn it. You're in church like this, this with your family. There are anointings in this house that God has given to us. As you worship the Lord, as you learn the word, look forward to the same graces working in your life. Did you hear what I'm saying? Look forward to it. If I look at people, I can literally see those that caught in partition by hearing words. There are some that caught in partitions by, by the laying on of hands. By the laying of hands. I will give an instance. Some of you, if you see our pastors, you see Pastor Ma, can you celebrate Pastor Ma? When Pastor Ma ministers in Queen's Summit, you will see the same spirit of faith in our voice. The same day, the same way, I do not need to lay to call people first and start laying hands on them before the power of God moving in a, in a, in a hole. That is the same way she stands here and the power of God begins to move. And touch you. Exactly the same thing. If she says there are so so number of people, the same thing. But we were not like that when we were students. Oh, understand what I'm saying? When we were on campus, we were not like that. I was the one moving in power when we met. I was the one talking about the inflow of the Holy Ghost healings, manifestation of the Spirit. Just by association, as time went on. Both the fastings, both the grace to fast, both the prayer, both everything, the same thing. The first time I was fasting, 20 something days without eating food. So day one, you only be drinking water. Day two, you only be drinking water. Day three, the same thing. One week time, only water. The, the next week, you, I was drinking what until water changed test. Did you hear what I'm saying? I will see water, I will feel like I will feel like throwing up. <laughs> water, I will, and it's water I can take throughout the whole fast. When I say, babe, I want to do fast 21 days. She said, eh, eh, I will do seven days. On day seven of the fast, she saw, she had an encounter. In that encounter, she saw me giving her something to eat. As by eat for strength. She had to, ah, uh, she did not break the fasting, no. We continue like this, 20 something days. Can you clap your hands for Jesus? Grace. Grace. If, if I say, there are people in this house, you will see them. If you know how they fast. I don't mean pastors. I mean even bro. The brothers in the church. They married me. If you know how they jumped into grace to fast. Uh. Hallelujah. Sometimes you will see some of, our, uh, some of the brothers, you will see them, they all sharing, some of the sisters. You see, if you know how they fast and pray, grace. Not every, not every minister, not everybody has that kind, that kind of, that I know people that when they fast, six to six, three days. Ah! It will look as if, the, the, 
who understand what I'm saying? By 12, day one, the eyes turning them. It is not because they are not strong. It's available, it's access to grace that makes fasting easy. I've never fasted days without eating food. Sometimes I've stayed a moment without eating food. I was not hungry when I was breaking. There was no once that I was hungry. How did it happen? Grace. Grace. Availability of grace. Availability of grace. And I've seen it work. Ah. Beloved, you want to fast and pray? There's grace in this house to fast and pray. There's grace to fast and pray. There's grace for prosperity. There's grace for practical wisdom. There is grace. There's grace. It's not everywhere. Some time ago, I caught some of our pastors and leaders. I said, let's fast and pray. It was a few of them. They just came my wife were fasting and praying when our church was smaller as if for 14 the next 14 days we're not eating food we meet every day to pray as we're fasting so every day we are we, you are fasting all what they are taking you're not eating food you will come the one six hours you'll be shouting then you go back the next day you, you're not going to go and break out you come next day, come back again the next day six hours the next day the six hours <laughs> the next day the next six hours the, oh, that one requires grace did you hear what i'm saying it's not that we will come and come and sit down and shake, shake. Oh God, let it. No, me we talking lipo bala. Some of you have been in this church. I'll be fasting twenty-one days, sometimes thirty days without eating food. Every Sunday I'm here preaching, and I preach with energy. I'm here preaching. It is a grace. I have seen the same to all the pastors, the brothers too. Hallelujah. Somebody had us and God healed of us in the ministry and decided to fast seven days without eating food and ended up doing about 14 days. <laughs> I clap my hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. So impartation. Impartation. It supplies grace. May this grace jump and punch you. In the name of Jesus. May it jump on you. I've seen it even on our teenagers. You see them three days, seven days. Pastor, I'm fasting. I've done eating food for the last seven days. Some of them on campus, seven days. They are not eating food. They're fasting. They start to pray. They, say they will pray 10 hours, 12 hours. You think it's easy like that. Go outside and hear how people struggle with prayer. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying here? Grace to pray. Grace to pray. May he jump up on you. In the name of Jesus. Grace. Grace. I have seen it walk. In partitions. May it drop on you. In the name of Jesus. Results of impartations. Number one. Impartation releases the spirit of wisdom. It releases the spirit of wisdom. That's what it does. It releases the spirit of wisdom. Many times when I say it like this, you, you, will, you, 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 will, you will just have, oh, he leaves the spirit of wisdom. But let me explain how it works. Let me give a hint. I think in 2010, this will be 2010 or 2009, 2009 or 2010, Uh, Pastor K, you can you celebrate him? I, I was in camp. I was on campus. He was uh, a first year student, I think, at that point. So he came to see me. So he, he had visited before when his brother was in school, 
so he got the brother was in the fellowship so he can he, he follow the brother for sale i was a cell leader so when he got admission to the same school at the point he was not looking for me you understand what i'm saying so and he got to, to see me and when we were done talking he gave me a seed he sent me a seed then he went a day or two days later he called me he said sir since i sent you that seed my body has been on fire i've been feeling fire on my body i've been feeling like electricity currents in my body okay and do you know what i told him i said go and lay hands on your roommate pray for people to feel Ghost. pray for the sick to be healed that's what i said how many years ago was that That is about 14 years ago. Is it not so? This will be about 14 years ago. Okay. He began to lay hands on campus. People were getting few illegals. The sick were getting healed. Instantly. Miracles were happening to him. On campus. In partitions. Let me show you how impartation brings the spirit of wisdom. One day he began to ask me a question. He said, Pastor, um, when will I start prophesying and, and like the accurate prophecies? The way you see the accurate, you receive accurate prophecies. Then I told him, I said, This impartation is in departments. As you follow, different departments will be opening up. Did you hear what I'm saying? That's what I said. He said, it's in department. Different departments will be opening up. And department began to open up. <laughs> departments began to open up. This anointing, this thing we have as a grace can be impacted and can work wonders in people's lives. I have seen it work again and again. It's in different departments. The department you want, you jump into it. It begins to work like an anointing for business. It begins to work like an anointing for ministry. It begins to work like an anointing. It worked. Before you know it, you know what happens? As time passed, that same thing Accurate prophecies began to work in his life. The very same thing. One day I had to describe, I was telling him, it's so, by so so time you see this. By so so time of the date, day you see this. I was telling him, that is when you see these visions. He said, Yes, Pastor. I said, What I'm describing is what happens to me, I'm describing. Who oh, understands what I'm saying? That exactly the way it works with me, I was describing it. Engage these things. Engage these things. I have seen it work. When he was a single bro, he had to go for NYC. He sold his first one million. One point something million I seed. As a single bro. He had not gone for NYC. Was he a student? Was he a student? The grace works. <laughs> now, if you understand, because it didn't start from that level. He began by keying to the prosperity of grace by sowing at this level. I began, and he kept on going up, going up. The same thing with Pastor, Ma, the same thing with Pastor Amy. The same graces. Sometimes some of you think that it's only for men it work. It works. I have seen single sisters. Under this grace, single sisters that have sold more than five million at once. I see. I didn't say married. I say single sisters. How did they do it? As God began to bless, they kept on sowing their seeds bit by bit, bit by bit. And it just seems like the grace was working again and again. And now someone can have grace because wisdom has to do with prosperity. 
somebody can have grace for the prayer dimension. And you will pray 14 hours, 15 hours, and still not have the money dimension, the prosperity dimension that the wisdom gives. Did you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm your pastor. Some of you were here in this church some years ago. I stood on this stage. I said, I'm fasting 40 days without eating food. And I'm doing that. I said, every day of the 40 days fast is equivalent to the seed of 1 million. That at the end of the fast, that I and my wife will give the church 40 million as seed. Did we not do it? 100% we delivered it. We delivered it. So, there is the department. And I, I wish the pastors know that the same month, it was not only 14 million we sold though. We sold 14 million this way. We sold 10 million the other way. We bought mechanical generator and sent us a seed the other way. We are just sowing seeds. We are fasting. The same graces. You see, my son passed away. The same heavy graces on him. The other, last year, Aritas, one of the Sunday Aritas that was not here. It was one minister Arita. You saw the way the power got moved. But same Pastor Kachi was ministry. He, say, he declared that somebody was going to receive a gift, a, a, a particular gift. The same day, immediately after service, before 12, the testimony came in. It was second service, was preached. Before 12, the testimony came in. Another person testified. He said, by the next day, I went to the office. I sat down in my I was trying to sit on my seat. And people came to celebrate me because I'm being promoted to another level. Within 24 hours, promotion happened. I clap your hands for Jesus. <laughs> Pastor Ma prophesied over someone in this church and spoke that word about the spirit of excellence. The fellow went back to school and in the department and probably the whole faculty became the best student. Every semester, best, the highest grade, the highest grade. In all the subjects, in all the courses, the highest grade. You think it's coincidence? There's a spirit of grace that works. This thing works in departments. <laughs> you must understand the department. So someone can actually jump into the, the, the prayer department, the fasting department, and be strong there. But when it comes to wisdom and grace for prosperity, it's lacking. Because it's not engaging the principles that governs it. Because the teen is in the department. Ah. Labadies. Vigues. Ah. Somebody say, yeah. So I have seen single sister engage it and so sit in the millions. Single sisters. While another sister is there saying, is waiting, so waiting for husband to marry. So that the husband will be the ingredient, the, the channel of prosperity. Who oh, understand what I'm saying? Looking for a rich young ruler. Hallelujah. May God give you your desires in Jesus' name. Engage this thing. Start. I'm telling you practical wisdom. Engage this thing. You might start from your level to connect to the wisdom that brings prosperity. But keep upgrading it all. Can I tell the secret? Ah. Ah. Sometimes I go help somebody with this thing I want to say. But let me say it to you. To help you. One day. Ah. Should I say this? Okay. I can give you notes. I can just continue giving you notes. Or just put my heart out. <laughs> what did I say? Number one wisdom we do for you. The spirit of wisdom. Impartation rather. Number two. Impartation produces sound mind. It produces sound mind. Number three. Impartation brings a release of intelligence. It brings a release of intelligence. Number four, impartation of wisdom brings empowerment of the will. It empowers your will to do something. 
impartation empowers your will. Uh. There is this, this grace in department. There's a teaching department. There's a healing department. There's a healing miracle department. We have seen deaf ears open. We have seen blind ears open. We have seen those that could not walk begin to work. We have seen miracles happen. So this grace is in the, it works in department. But you can actually choose to key in to the department of graces that you want. Did you hear what I'm saying to you? I know somebody. I'm talking about wisdom that supplies the grace, impartation that supplies the grace of prosperity. How we key into it. Is it not so? And one of the major ways we key into it is as we are learning, learning words of prosperity, the word of prosperity, things that brings wisdom to our heart is one of the ways. One of the major ingredients to tap into it is so your seat, so. It's on your seat. I'm telling you. I wanted grace for mass healing, mass infilling of the Holy Ghost, mass manifestation of the Spirit. It was seed that I used an entire tool. It was not fasting. I sought seed for that purpose. I began to confess God's word and I began to see it. Most later, I began to see it. Then the same year, key into this thing. Start on your level and make sure you keep upgrading yourself. I tell you the secret. I tell you the secret. I tell you the secret. I, 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 some time ago, I, I went to visit somebody. I said I was going to come because he said, Pastor, I wanted you to come. So I went to visit. And I said, I said, what do you want? And they told me. I said, no problem. It is done. Then when I was going, they gave me a seed. And when I received the seed, I said, oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. God bless you. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Then I moved. And, 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 and do you know what I said to Pastor Ma? I told Pastor Ma, I said, these people are not ready for the manifestation of the prophecy. I spoke over them. So they're not ready for it. You can't be expecting to deliver things that is 30, 40, 50 million within a month. And you don't have the means to get it. You don't have the channels to sort it out. And you are carrying 20,000 or 10,000 to sow acid. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm telling you, raw. Raw. That was some years ago. And a few years, I'm telling you how the people key in into prosperity, grace, in wisdom, in partitions. So that you can start to you know what happened a few, sometime later. The wife of the fellow called me and said, Pastor, look at the challenge we are going through, blah, 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 blah. And I said, ah, it's good. I said, this thing, this thing, the way to, to break out this way, to break out this way, is so your seed so. That is how I can help you. That is the best I can tell you. So your seed. Ah. You need to see the miracles that began to happen. Uh, dear madam began to sow a seed. So pastor, don't worry. I, 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 now that I'm, I understand what I'm supposed to do in faith, I'll do that in faith. Send the seed in the millions. I said, Oh, thank you. God bless you. Within a within few weeks, within a few weeks, the same thing they wanted to buy, they bought it up. Within a few weeks. And it was like, Ah, Pastor, is this how this thing works? They were looking for 30 to 40 or 50 million to sort out some, to buy something, to buy a property. How much did they sow? It's threatening faith to sow just a million or two million. And God broke that out. Stretched them faith and keyed into something. It usually don't start at that level. Do you know how I learned these things? While I was a student, 
as a, as a teenager. I was following my father and the Lord. And the more I saw the way he was sowing seeds, the more I began to stretch in faith to sow seeds. Sometimes to kill some of these things, it might look like a sacrifice. But it will pull out this nut of you. Do you know that the same, the, uh, yeah. the same fellow continued to sow seeds? The last time we spoke, it was a testimony of how they're concluding a deal to get 40, I mean, that is 10 acres of land. That is 40 plots to build an institution. In this same time that we are saying inflation, I'm not saying uh, in this same year, in this same March. It is one way we came to these things. Somebody say, yeah. There is a grace. There is a grace. It is a match. And I pray that this grace of prosperity gets strong on you. In the name of Jesus. Many times, the way I know someone is prosperous, your gravity of prosperity in heaven it's not according to what you have on earth. It's according to what you give to God. Ah. <laughs> How about this? It's your grace. May this grace jump on you. May it rest upon you strongly. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May it's... Some time ago I was fasting and praying. I, I, I decided... Because I've helped someone. I used to help people behind the scenes. Small, small. At one point or the other. Let me put my, say it in the way you understand in this message. Some time ago. I was fasting and praying. And someone needed something. And brought a seed. And when I saw the seed. I said, oh, thank you. God bless you. And, and, and I began to speak words over the thing they brought a seed. For what they wanted. And that harvest truly brought in that seed. The harvest came and brought in boxing. Boxing to them. And, and that boxing was something good. At that point, at that level, it was nice. It was almost about uh, 50 million. The harvest brought in. So I was the means of talking to God about something else and they brought that and God brought that kind of harvest. And I said, oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Years later, some years later, the same person wanted to get something, a major breakthrough. Do you get what I'm saying? And comes to me and say, Pastor, I, I want to, I'm believing God for such so, so, so kind of breakthrough. And I said, Oh, awesome. So we, we, are, we are sending a seed. They send the seed. I said, oh, thank you. God bless you. Because it, it's, okay, it's a formula. You understand what I'm saying? It's a formula. So, and I said, God bless you. Do you know what God did? The uh, pastor, my pastor is aware of this. Pastor me is aware. I think Pastor K is aware of this too. When I got the seed, I was talking to God about the breakthrough they wanted. Do you get what I'm saying? As I opened my mouth to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, you know that these people sent me a seed for this kind of breakthrough. Lord, please help them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you know what God told me? He asked me a question. And uh, I answered. And he told me that I should never, I should not open my mouth to talk to him about that thing again. I'm telling you. You know what God asked me? He said, all that time you were fasting 21 days without eating food. You prayed for them that God should give them a breakthrough. I gave them the breakthrough. Have they sown one million into your life before? I said, no, no. They actually sold the seed. They sold half a million. I said, did they think of it to even give you seed in appreciation in the millions? I said, no, Lord. He said, don't mention that case to me again. I could not tell them anything, no. I kept boom. Uh, because if I talk, I'll spoil it. Is it not true? 
I could not, because I was fasting for something days and God was the one reminding me. It's not me that, I mean, I was happy to talk to God about it. I could not say anything. I could not say anything. I already told Pastor Ma and Pastor Me. So when the final thing came out and they didn't get it, they came to me, Pastor, what happened? I said, ah. We really expected this breakthrough, but we don't know what happened. I said, ah. I said, I believe that the God that spoke to me would have spoken to you too. See, you were talking to him. <laughs> Who understand what I'm saying? I said, did God not put it in your heart to sow seeds in the millions to the prophet's life? He said, eh, it, it came to our heart. We were discussing it about amongst ourselves, but we didn't have much. So we said that uh, instead of taking from these few millions that we have to give, let's wait for that harvest. The one that God said I should not talk to him about. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm saying. To come before I say, ah. I said, God told me that if, he, if all this why had, he had blessed you people this way and you didn't do this, I should not talk to him about it. The opportunity, that is how it left home. But lovely people, by faith, they took the same seed and came to so. And one of the pastors asked me, what will God do now? I said, that one has gone no. Hallelujah. I said, this one will create another opportunity for them. Who understand what I'm saying? It will create another opportunity for that's what I said. I'm saying this because so that you will understand how this thing works. The next year, the next year, the church needed something. We were regarding money in church to do something. We needed two million more to complete it. Two million. So I was in the office, I was still love. I was praying for Sunday service. I was, and, but the whole church does not know that we need something. Because we usually don't come and announce how much we need or we are believing God for this. You may know we don't do that. So we just teach you God's word and speak. So I was in the office. I was praying. So I was talking to God. I said, God, two million, two million, two million, two million. Leave it is. Who for this? We need two million to complete this money. Two million. Then that same beloved that you know, that lost that other opportunity. Was entering the bedroom where he was and heard the spirit of God said, send that, send the, the money you have, two million. Take two million from that one you have and send that seed now. He came out and told the wife that, ah, this is what the spirit of God is putting in my heart. They sent the seed, two million. I saw it. I smiled. I said, and now that I enter. <laughs> Did you hear what I'm saying? One month, the same month, God gave the opportunity that brought in 98 million. Clap hands for Jesus. So what you hear, you know, many times I, I just come and teach you point one, point two, point three, point four. I don't break it down like this. So it's only those that come close and ask questions, Pastor, what about this? I run and say, okay, it's like this, it's like this. But this is the way this is the way we truly break into the wisdom of prosperity. Ah, is this, this is the way. This is the way. This is the way. To show you how strong this thing works, eh? See what happened. Ah. Oh, so we have people, young people here that have been swimming in the middle that are used to it. And God keep blessing them. But their sisters, brothers. I have seen it work wonders. One day, one of our sons sent me a seed. And he sent the seed. I saw the seed. And I came for service. I told him, the Lord has established you. I said, the Lord has established you. Do you know that meaning? That establishment, by the, and, 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 by the next month, he began to, was it, make like $5,000 a month. The next, the other month, $10,000 a month. From this sense of play, from this sense of play, to show you how this prophetic work works, 
it gets it gets to a point the contract was about to to come to an end to be terminated to come to an end to proceed i said i want to say 10 million at once I'm not talking about someone, the person is in this service. Oh. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm telling you so that you will understand that this grace is, is working here. <laughs> you would think that the contract, hmm? they will say, let's renew the contract. It didn't renew contract all. Contract left. Was over. But that word God has established you was still working. You know what God did? Brought a business idea in the dream. Kaya tabaya. A business idea which when implemented physically began to prosper, began to bring another. Another channel. Began to make money again in the thousands of dollars. I remember the last time we were talking, I said, you see that word, God has established you. See how it works at day. That even when that contract was over, God made sure that money kept on coming to you. That there is a level you can go below. Can you clap your hands for Jesus? This is wisdom. How to key into wisdom. For prosperity. You see us as a ministry. To date, our Father and the Lord gets our Father and the Lord gets seats from us. Bishop, we did people get seats from us. Did you hear what I'm saying? Even this month, we send seats to Bishop. <laughs> Who no get sense? The thing I'm telling you is something we do as a lifestyle, as individual, as a pastor, and as a church. The other time we send seats to salvation ministry. Pastor David the Bionis. We sent seed there. Where has he sent the seeds? This week, I was talking to Pastor Massey. Between now and so so time, as a church, and looking forward to us as a church, sending so so millions to so so ministry. I said, You think we don't have any there? Ah. Ah. <laughs> this is the way it works, so. How is it that God promised me a particular level of supplies? One of these months, one of the persons that God used to do it, hmm? I have not seen the person since 2005 or 2006. How is it that I did not see for 2005, since 2006? And you remember, what you remember about me is to sow seed. <laughs> it's only God that can push that. Go back in time to make it happen. That is almost 20, uh, 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 18 years ago. There are people that need to break through to the next level. But their giving has not upgraded. They are still staying with the same level of giving that they were giving. Who understands what I'm saying? Five years ago, God has prospered you. You still stay there. They are still doing the same thing. And you are shouting, oh, break me for, break me for. It's not the way it works. So. You have to up your game. And push in faith. Hallelujah. This is the way it works. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Can you talk in tongues briefly? Just softly. I hope you have learned something in this service. Somebody asked me a question recently. He said, Pastor, I said, I and my wife, we don't only give our tithes, we have also given our PFC, Prosperity Fire Conference seed. PFC that is holding next month. I said, we, have, we give our tithe. As it's coming, we're giving our tithe. Then we have sown our seed for PFC. I'm the one preaching, you know. But I'm sowing seed for PFC. <laughs> Who no 
cases. You think that I will, I will fast for days without eating food and come, and come and preach. I will not so see to, to chop anointing. To receive? Ah. <laughs> I'm not going to waste that garden of power and put us in the air. It must work in my life. It must work. It must work. I usually, I was telling someone, I said, see, the least, someone asked me, can I be giving my tithe quarterly? Or, do you understand what I'm saying? And I said, yes, there's no problem if you want to give your tithe quarterly or monthly or weekly. I said, but for me, and Pastor Ma, we give our tithe every week, as God is blessing us, we're giving our tithe. We don't wait for month end. As the Lord is blessing us, we're giving our tithe. I said, do you know why? I said, because the tithe itself is the least of our giving. Do you understand what I mean by that? The tithe, the responsibility of tithing is the least of our giving. That means the tithe itself is not up to 50% of our giving every month. So I cannot be holding it for four months now. Who understand what I'm saying? I can't do that. Beloved, start. Some people talk about prosperity. Prosperity. Pros this is the way. This is the way. When I heard that winners was, we are going to plant more churches, we heard it. One of those shilos, Bishop announced it, and they're going to be building the current auditorium. I determined in, in my heart what we will give towards it. And we did not have a land as a church. We don't even, at that point, we didn't have a land. Not even as a, as a ministry, streams of grace, we didn't even have a land. Where well, I did propose to my heart what we would give. And that same, that same year, after we gave that seed and continued doing all the things we were doing, the same year we did that, we got our first land. That burns for Jesus. The very same year. We got our first land. The land cost, the minutes cost us a few tens of millions. A few tens of millions. It was one acre of land. An acre of land. It was just, just few, a few tens of millions. I know that the budget was, that we gave that, for that remove was not more than almost like 30 million or so that range between 26 to 30 million something like that 30 million 30 million hallelujah can I give the Lord a good shout of praise this is the way on social media you will hear people say things like <laughs> they discourage Christians from giving to the anointed giving to the God's work what you don't know is that the believers that are prospering a lot are doing it. And are breaking for the Lord are doing it. And the wisdom I usually give is from your level. Start. 10,000. There was a time I was doing recharge card. I said, recharge card, 400, 500, 1,000. There was a time I was doing that. Till today, I can do it without shame. I can't, as, as it, if I sold a thousand naira recharge card, I won't be doing it with shame. You see it. Did you hear what I'm saying to you? It's like telling me if I, because I fast days without eating food, if I do six to six or six to twelve, I should not believe that God has answered. <laughs> Who understands what I'm saying? Was six to six not working before? Was six to twelve not working before? It was working. So it will continue to work. And the Lord has said to me, that is giving you cash. Amen. Amen. There are people in the, on this mountain, the Lord told me, he says, give you them cash. Amen. If you are one of them, can you say, I receive three times. I receive. I receive. I receive. I have too many testimonies. 
to share about wisdom impartation, that wisdom that brings prosperity, impartation level. Last week Sunday, you saw the video testimony of me declaring somebody that money is hanging, that something that is supposed to go through in the tens of millions. Did you think that I did not know who the person was? <laughs> I was telling one of the pastors that, that, that when I saw, when they brought the person from the crowd to here, I said, hey, this is the fellow that God was speaking to me about. I said, this one has entered. Within 24 hours, the tens of millions was released. It was second service last week Sunday. I announced that word. Do you know if you listen to the testimony, he says, sir, our business, we had two business. This one was failing, one was having issues to, and, and we're already running to loss. Earlier in the week, before the Sunday, they had sent a seed. Same pastor, we are believing God for something. And they didn't tell me what exactly the amount you're believing God for. I didn't know it. Within 24 hours, the one that was failing, the investment that was failing, turned around. Profit was preserved. That was seed of it. Then here they come for the other second harvest they were looking for. There was a partial release. But they were looking for the other part of it. And the word of the Lord came and said, you that is looking for the tens of millions that is up there hanging has been released. Everybody will shout amen. People will relieve, relieve, receive at their own level. But the power of God knew where the power is going. And within 24 hours, it was delivered. It was a step of faith. It was a step of faith. The faith had already released, had gone forth before the prophecy came. That seed that soon had released that faith ahead. That is why when the word went for the fellow fell under the power. Do you understand what I'm saying here? Start from your level. Start from your level. The secret. I have seen people serve God, labor, 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 but they cannot key into the prosperity grace. Not because they are not serving God, but because they are not keying into the principles that makes it work. That was why in the early years, you will see people that serve God very well. They keep saying as poor as a church rat. Because they were not keying in. The church at that point was not keying in into the, prop, the principles that make prosperity grace work. Then, if they want to build, you want to do a project in church, if you, some of you can remember what I'm saying. They will take first offering, second offering, then the building offering. The, that can go on for three years. They've not finished building. What are they trying to build? A church that can see probably 100 or 200 people. Is it not so? Then you will see people park their cars and they are giving 200 naira every service for building. 50 naira, 100 naira. That is what they were giving. Small, small. And yet you are shouting, the church was, was not prosperous. It was as, how will the church prosper that way? It can't prosper. That thing, that pattern cannot break poverty. It won't break it. It was a generation of ministers that came and said, ah, you have to be sacrificial. You have to know how to sow seed intentionally to break forth. Before you know, the adage on the street that was saying as poor as a, poor, uh, as a church rat just faded away. It just literally left the mass lips of people because somebody, a generation of fathers came and taught us the way to prosperity. The way to prosperity. And we, the younger generation of the fathers, the children, what do we do? We learn from them and build on their shoulders because this is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Somebody say, I hear. I hear. The Lord bless you. Amen. Can you lift up your hands and give him thanks? Give him thanks. And before you go, I want to list out the things that makes impartation work better in our lives. The thing that boosts imp impartations. Number one. Desire. You must want it. Desire it. Hunger for it. Taste for it. 
I desired growing up the power of God being strong on me. Desired. Desired the anointings. I desired to see what was working in my father's life. General Moyo. At work in me. I desired it. And I've seen that grace work. No badness. Submission. You have to accept that you don't know. If you, you have to accept that you don't know. Act that way. Submission. No proud person is a candidate for impartation. No proud person is a candidate for impartation. Not one. You cannot be proud and the grace will jump on you. It does not work. Submission. You have to accept that the carrier of graces are higher than you. That weight can flow to you. As long as you are dealing with the carrier of graces as if they are equals. It can't jump on you. You have to accept. Submission. Number three, connection to instructions. When you hear what they do, begin to do them. When they, you hear what they do, begin to do them. Begin to implement them. When you hear they're praying, pray. When you hear they're sowing seeds, sow seeds. When, they hear, when you hear that they give their tithes as partnership to God's work, do it. Don't say you don't believe in it. You don't believe how is your giving? How is your giving? How, how, what would you say has been your lowest partnership to God over the years? When I was earning 10,000 a month, I was still tithing. Out of the same 10,000, I would tithe. Out of the same 10,000, I would transport to work. Out of the same 10,000, I would still save small something. 10,000. When it became 20,000, I was still doing the same thing. When it became 50,000, I was still doing the same thing. Number next, association. When you hang around certain environment, after a while, anything in that environment will jump on you. Association, staying around the environment of spirit of faith. Connection, that association, builds it up. Association. And number five, transmission. That means lines are laid on the person. You can pull it by desire. You can, it can jump on you by submission. It can jump on you by connecting to instructions. You boast the impartations. It will come on you by association, connecting to grace, staying around the environment. And by laying of hands, or having access, contact by the, of the materials of the anointed. I've seen our branch past pastors, the same way the power of God is moving here in most of the branches. One of them, I looked at my wardrobe and I picked up some of my suits. I said, take. <laughs> he carried this. He said, pastor, that one you used to wear for fire beating that day, that year, is what I use for special meeting now. I just keep it there. On that day, I would just wear it. Say, so when I wore it everywhere, power. So it's like that. <laughs> Are you clapping your hands for Jesus? There's a way we used to have annual program here. I said, this suit, I used to, used to wear it. Yes. I said, no, I've kept it as you gave me. I just kept it like that. For every special program. This period, that's what I'll be wearing. He wore it and the power got broke out. <laughs> Contact. Transmission. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. The Lord make you fat in all sides. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I believe you've been instructed. Yes, sir. God bless you.
Please package your seats, your tithes, and your offerings. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Can we jump up on our feet this morning and give the Lord a shout? Can we give the Lord a shout for the awesome wisdom and words and light we receive from our man of God? Wave your hands and give the Lord a shout. It's time to praise the good God, hallelujah. Jehovah, Jehovah, we praise your name. 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 All around the hall, Jehovah, Jehovah, we praise your name. Jehovah, Jehovah, we praise your name. Great Almighty God, He give me joy to the give you praise. Great Almighty God, He give me joy to the give you praise. Great and mighty God, He that give me joy to give you praise, oh. Great and mighty God, He that give me joy to the give you praise, oh. Great and mighty God, He that give me joy to give you praise, oh. When I look to the left, then when I look to the right, when I look to the left, when I look to the right, when I look to the left. He's by my side. He's by my side. When I look to the left, when I look to the right, when I look to the left, I look to the right, when I look to the left, he look to the right, when I look to the left, when I look to the right. Oh, great and mighty God, he they give me joy till they give you praise. Great and mighty God, he they give me joy to give you praise. Oh. Great and mighty God, He they give me joy till they give you praise. Oh. Great and mighty God, He they give me joy till they give you praise. Oh. Hey. When you see me dance, I dance as a winner, man. When you see me dance, I dance as a winner, man. Somebody rejoice and give the Lord a shout of glory. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the seed sown. We thank you because you are the God of abundant multiplication. And the God of abundant multiplication multiplies your harvest. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Please, you may be seated. Glory be to God. We have a few housekeeping for this service. Wednesday, 5 p.m., we are here for our midweek service. And on Sunday, we have two power-packed services. <laughs> Glory be to God forevermore. Hallelujah. Okay, so um, join a community. Today we have the Petra Tribe. We have the Family Life Hub. We have um, the Dogs of Men. We have Cream Sisterhood. We have Subteria. And we have the Tech Tribe. And we also have our Streams of Grace medical team. Praise the Lord. 
So please do well to join these tribes. The SG Medical team are currently calling for volunteers. And um, yes, so everything on that flyer, just do well to, you don't really need to be a medical personnel from what I got, okay? So if you want to serve, you know, as a volunteer in the medical team, uh, because when our event comes up, Night of Miracles, we usually have several, you know, um, events map building up to Night of Miracles, hallelujah. So you can do well to join the Streams of Grace medical team and follow the instructions on the fire for more details. Praise God forevermore. Family Life Hub, we are meeting this evening, and the theme is Finding the Balance. Family Life Hub is for parents, for couples, for parents, couples, please do well to join the tribe. The Petro tribe is for singles, boy, girl, ladies, men, do well to join that. And dogs and men are for all the young men, the mighty men of this mandate. Somebody say I hear. So the mighty men of this mandate, the dogs are men, is for you. And from ages 20 and above, praise God forevermore. Easter communion, Arita service, hallelujah. So it's going to be a whole lot in one. We are having Aritas, we are having Easter, and we are having our communion service, all in one service. Glory be to God. And it's March the 31st. Praise God forevermore. And it's going to be a combined service. Hallelujah. Meaning that the service is going to be one service and we're going to start at 8 a.m. Hallelujah. Dogs and Men community have a soccer challenge. March the 31st, and that's Easter Sunday evening. Praise God forevermore. So all the men, all the women, we need fans to come. Hallelujah. Or do they need fans? You need, right? Do you need VAR? <laughs> I think I would, I would apply to work as your VAR. <laughs> but I can determine who wins, right? Praise God forevermore. So all the men, the dogs are communities for you. Hallelujah. These communities are important so that we can get to interact with you beyond what we are seeing on Sunday like this. Is that fine? So that we can get to know you beyond just, hi, hello, your department is this, and this is where I am. No, let's get to know you beyond that. So that's why these departments are available, all right? So all the singles, the young men, the women, the Petra tribe is for you. Hallelujah. Family life hub, all the couples, the parents, you know, that hub is for you. And this evening, we will be meeting, hallelujah, and we'll be talking about um, the topic centered around finding your balance, hallelujah. And um, last but not the least is Prosperity Fire Conference 2024. Yeah, you're getting the memo, you're getting the memo. Prosperity Fire Conference 2024. <laughs> Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The date is April the 12th to April the 14th. And the time is 8 a.m. and 3 p.m. respectively. And we'll be having our special guest, Pastor Dr. Tara Akinkoa Day. Hallelujah. All the way from the Standing Church, Ibadan. Hallelujah. So we are all set. We are all ready to receive from our prophets and from our special guest. Hallelujah. This meeting is a meeting that has been designed from heaven so that your finances will take a leap. Hallelujah. You can imagine what we are learning on Sunday like this. Imagine what we are going to learn when it's Prosperity Fire Conference. That meeting is primarily designed for your finances. I am telling you, for your prosperity, for your lifting. Hallelujah. Praise God forever. And to that end, um, all the QFOS members, please are asked to wait uh, behind at the close of this service. All QFOS, please wait behind at the close of this service. Have you been blessed this morning? Give the Lord a shout of praise one more time. And if, if, if this is your first time fellowshipping with us, can you wave your hands? We love you. We want to welcome you. Beautiful. Your first time? Your first time? Your first time? Hallelujah. Please be upstanding. Glory be to God. Please put your hands together for them and encourage them as they are standing up. Hallelujah. Please keep clapping for them. Keep clapping for them. Hallelujah. We love you. God bless you. And we are happy to have you here with us this Sunday. And we look forward to seeing you Wednesday. We look forward to seeing you next week Sunday. Project Rainbow, please attend today. May up. God bless you. Please just follow the lead behind you. Yes, please. Yes, please. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. I believe the media has a, some video announcement. Media. Do you want more spirit? Welcome to our media event, where leaders are forged and champions are empowered by God's divine presence. Join us at the auditorium every Wednesday by 5 p.m. as we receive teachings of practical wisdom and insight to propel us to newer levels of victory and abundance. Your presence here is an invitation to a realm of elevated purpose and transformation. See you there. Hi, friends and family. Do you want to grow with Streams of Grace in 2024? Join our thriving communities and be a part of something special. Petro Tribe welcomes singles who are seeking wisdom and vibrant connections. Family Life Hub supports and strengthens couples and parents in their journey together. Get ahead in the tech world, elevate your skills, leverage Tech Tribe's resources and fresh industry insights. Join Soteria and be a part of those who spread hope and salvation to many. Join the Cream Sisterhood community on Telegram. In case you want to discover which community is best for you, you want to be a part of something special in 2024, please visit the information desk, Grow with Streams of Grace in 2024. Hello there. Welcome to our year of coronation. In 2024, expect all-round goodness. Join us for our powerful Sunday services at the Oak Auditorium. First service is 7 a.m. and second service is 9 a.m. Our services are crafted to guide you into God's greater plan for your life and destiny. And don't worry about your kids. Revaya Church hosts sessions at 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. tailored just for them. Join us every Sunday as we embrace God's blessings and revelations for an extraordinary 2024. Are you seeking deeper involvement? Join our vibrant church department and be an integral part of our community. As our man of God will fondly say, to be is to belong and to belong is to participate actively. For more inquiries, visit our information desk, connect and contribute. Be a driving force in shaping our church's impact. Do you want more spiritual clarity and hands-on knowledge on understanding God's word? Then Studio Church is for you. Reintroducing Studio Church with Pastor Gabriel Prosper every Monday by 5 p.m. at the O Complex. Please note, Studio Church is only open to those who have successfully completed Edge and Sword Cluster 3. Welcome to our medical event. Hallelujah. Okay, Tech Tribe is between April 6th and the time is 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. For the, those into tech, we have a uh, community for those into tech. So we have a workshop section on April 6th. Praise God forevermore. Can we be on our feet as we close service this morning? Just lift up your hands and give the Lord thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. There are some of you that came to this service with desires. I came here with desires. And I pray for you that in the name of Jesus, your desires are granted. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You came here with desires. The God that serves delivers your answers into your hands. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It is done. Amen. It is done. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Streams of grace. Raise in territorial commanders and global champions. God bless you. Please say hi to someone before you go.